Hey beautiful people, I'm so excited for this video because we are making this beautiful dal with this beautiful Turkish pita bread which I'm trying the first time out today for you guys and we are having a mic for this voice over and I'm so excited. So like I said, um, first of all welcome to my video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you are a returning friend, thank you very very much for your support. For your love and always for your feedback via uh, whatsapp or your call or who, which channel you use thank you so much so we are using here 500 gram of spelt flour half a teaspoon of sugar two teaspoon of yeast and uh, a little bit of salt normally i put the yeast always in the hot water but in that recipe the the girl had just put the yeast in the flour, so I thought just save the step and just do it the way she did it and it worked, I guess it worked as well. But if you if I would make a pizza, I would not do it like this. But anyways, we are doing it the first time and it turned out pretty good. So we are gonna mix up the dried ingredients in this very small bowl. And we will add the ingredients in our mixer. If you don't have one, just use your hands. I would have done it too before I got lazy and got this mixer. And um, I have this ninja thing already since four years, but I used it the second time for making a dough. I don't know why. Anyway, so we are adding here two tablespoons of um, sunflower oil if you have some oil which is not so strong in taste use that and then this is the only ingredient i'm using which is not vegan two tablespoons of yogurt use soya uh, unsweetened yogurt if you have i didn't have one so i use this one and i use around 300 milliliter of water and later on i also put i think around 50 milliliter of water it depends on your dough and it depends um yeah, actually it depends on your dough. So we want to have a very liquid dough, like you can see here. Oh, it will get a very messy situation. Uh -huh, you will see. It is. It was really hard doing this with one hand, so I had to ask the cameraman for some help. But it is so important that this dough is sticky. Otherwise, it won't be so fluffy and it won't have... It won't be so moist in the um, inside and crispy outside. So yeah, trust me, the struggle is worth it. And I'm struggling here, boys and girls, for you. I'm struggling here. I had Joe all over my wheels and my lap and on my wheelchair. But I was like, no, 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 we are going to make it. And it was really hard to clean this up. So it should look like this, a little bit messy, a little bit uh, watery and we will just put um, a towel on it and just let it rest for an hour and meanwhile we can make the dal. I wanted to use here one cup of red lentils and one cup, a uh, half cup of yellow lentils but this uh, package was so heavy that all the yellow lentils came in this bowl so i have here one cup of red lentils one cup of yellow lentils one cup of garlic we are using two bay leaves oh i have already have in the pot half a liter of water and for spices i'm using cloth some cinnamon powder some asafoetida and obviously some turmeric what else you know i love turmeric and Okay, let's let's do it with the recipe. And I have added one half liter more of water. So in total, we will have in the end of the recipe, we will have one and a half liter of water. But right now, there's one liter of water. Oh, if I'm talking too confusing, please check out the recipe in the information box. And don't put a lid on it, otherwise your lentil will spill over, and you have to clean your gas or your hot plate or whatever. And this is a nasty work, so don't leave the place. Be near the <laughs> near your pot, and yeah, that's the consistency we want to have. This took around 40 minutes. Um, I had put the heat on low, 
and yeah now we will do the end thing we will add I'm doing this the first time with some vegan butter and I have to say it was like 90% okay <laughs> if you don't mind using butter use the real butter that's for the flavor but if you have vegan butter like I did it's okay too so helpful would be if your stuff would be on yes so I forgot to put the camera on so my butter melted and I have added here half teaspoon of uh, chili and two teaspoon of Indian cumin seeds these you can get everywhere in an easy shop they smell so beautiful they are so good in taste and obviously so healthy I assume um, I didn't put any salt in the lentils because you tend to put too much salt it's for some reason if you put the salt in the beginning so I started to add the salt in the end so just do this tingy wingy like I'm doing and when you start smelling this <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do to put the smell into my nose when you start smelling the cumin and the butter and mm, the spices then you know the baby is ready to hit the other baby and so let them get together like Romeo and Julia or Rose and Jack in Titanic. I know, I'm very romantic. So we are gonna, gonna mix those things up. I always add a little bit in the pan bag and put the pan bag again so we have all the nice flavors in our dal. Mmm, this baby looks good, doesn't it? Oh, it also tastes very good. Ah, so I'm so excited what happened after an hour. Let's check it out. This nasty wet dough. Perfect. I don't remember if it um, got bigger. If it has risen. Risen. <laughs> got bigger. <laughs> but I'm trying to do this. Uh, voice over in one cat and I have to say I'm very happy till now if you're not happy let me know if you're happy also let me know in the comments okay in the recipe the woman said the woman <laughs> the girl said or whatever she said we should use a lot of flour because because the dough is sticky and again I thought before we get nasty and messy I called the cameraman and asked him if he could hold this bowl otherwise I didn't want it to get all over dough again so hello when is he coming and holding the bowl so but this is exactly the consistency we want to have it should be sticky and wet and that's why it is so important to put a lot of flour on your surface on your working surface perfect thank you very much cameraman He's such a good helper, I know. So we are trying to put everything out of this bowl and on the table. And I've even put some flour on this stick, which I'm using. And um, I'm trying to get out everything, the nice dough. Perfect. And now the fun begins. The dough really, really came out very nice. You will see how fluffy this works. I have used a lot of um, dough, uh, lots of flour that this doesn't stick in my hands and it is perfect. It is so much fun forming this dough in, um, in a bowl. It wasn't so much fun cleaning up the surface because in the middle it's divided my surface and yeah, all the flour was in between. But who cares? This is perfect. This baby. We want to have it like this, like um, wiggly woggly things, like jelly, 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 what's jelly? I think I'm trying to mix up German and some English, so I know I'm talking so much today, but I mean, why not, right? Why not? So, this is called communication. So, we are here forming a, a, um, a bowl, a bowl you know something round oh i'm so proud of myself i can't stop looking how good this baby looks like and it felt so good like look at this okay i stop now just give it a little spank and yeah you're ready baby you're ready 
you're ready to go on the oven. No, it's not. We have to let it rest 30 minutes and um, I will just put it on, on a baking sheet already and just let it rest 30 minutes and then we will not do some egg wash. We will do some a turmeric and oatmeal wash just because um, I actually wanted to have everything vegan except after yogurt and it still works the same. So I just took some turmeric and some oat milk as you could see and yeah we will just put everything on the flour after half an hour. And this is the first mistake. I have put too much of water so actually I just should use the, what, what, what do you call this? This brush. And just add a little bit uh, of water or I should have put this uh, bread longer in the oven. It wasn't a huge mistake. Nothing bad happened. It turned out great. But still, it was like uh, a little bit too moist outside. So, but, but like I said, it's okay. You learn from my mistake. Don't use so much water like I did. The second thing we are doing after giving this uh, turmeric wash, we are using our hand to create the design of this original Turkish pita bread. And that is the second tip I want to um, tell you. It is very important that you really do this till the end of the paper, like till the, the paper shows up, like I did it over here. It was really perfect, but then I waited too long to put this in the oven and uh, the dough had risen, risen, oh, I don't know how to say it. The dough had uh, risen, risen again and the marks just went away, obviously. So if you do that, make sure your oven is already preheated on the highest heat your oven can go up. I had 250 Celsius. And um, yeah, just add whatever you like. I have used here some black uh, and some white sesame seeds. Mm. After you have put your toppings on it, you can, um, yeah, you just put it in the oven. Like I said, I waited a little bit too long, so the design just went away, but my God, it's okay. And that's the final result. The dal was really tasty. Like I said, I always make it with butter so it has more flavor, but that was totally fine with me. This was almost perfect because I didn't have this crunch that I wanted to have and I didn't want it to put the bread too long in the oven because I was afraid it will burn. So I just put a little bit of this piece in here. No, you can't. And I put it in the air fryer so it gets crunchy and crispy and that's a perfect, perfect bread. I am so happy with the first result, with the first try. It's really moist in the inside. If you just put it, I have put this in 13 minutes, just put it 15 to 16 minutes in the oven and your bread should be crispy outside and moist inside. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will subscribe and support my channel and I will try to upload every Sunday during the day a new video. Thank you very much for your love, for your support and for your comments. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, mwah! <laughs> okay, I need to eat now.